Good morning. This is Agashwani Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Berin District Planning and Development Board has agreed to approve the LADP schemes, including Common Pool and Iconic Projects, in respect of six Tenning and seven Berin Assembly constituencies. The meeting held under the chairmanship of Deputy Chief Minister Dia Zeliang recommended the proposal for stationing of a fire station at Peren Town, opening of Genesis School at Jaluki, upgradation of police outpost Henin Kungwa to a police station and the renovation of ADC headquarters at Peren Town. On your agenda of reconstitution of Boundary Committee for the new district headquarter, the board agreed to reconstitute a committee with DC Perrin as the chairman. The meeting also deliberated on the agenda of the upgradation of Government High School Henin Kungwa to higher secondary. On his remark, Deputy CM Tia Zeliang advised the district planning officer to maintain proper record of attendance during DPDP meetings. He also asked the members to be regular as important issues about the district are discussed during the monthly DPDP meeting. Meanwhile, the DC informed the members that the Governor of Nagaland will be visiting Peren District on July 21, for which all the heads of offices have been asked to make themselves available. MLA and Chairman DPDP Noklag P. Longon has emphasised the district's favourable climatic conditions for millet cultivation and stressed the need for modern farming methods to be applied. In his address at the Noklak District Planning and Development Board meeting, Longon urged all stakeholders and departments to take the initiative and encourage millet cultivation in the district. He also requested the members and concerned departments to spread awareness about the health and nutritional benefits of millets. During the meeting, the board approved and recommended the need for skill development facilities in the district to the concerned department. Furthermore, construction of the Superintendent of Police Office at Noklak and the establishment of bus terminal and bus station in the area received the board's approval. The board also discussed the shortage of post in the District Hospital Noklak and Chief Medical Office Noklak, among others. In addition, the board approved and recommended the LADP 2023-24 for 56 AC Noklak and 57 AC Tonoknew, paving the way for essential development projects. The Department of School Education has cautioned the employees and agents against demanding certain amount from employees to clear salary and arrear bills. In a notice, Principal Director of School Education, Thomas Lanke, said it has taken serious note that some department employees and agents are demanding money from employees in order to clear their salary areas. To this, he warned that disciplinary action would be initiated against such erring employees or agents. He said if anyone was found indulging in such illegal practices, the matter should be immediately reported to his office through sealed envelopes or through WhatsApp number 7005766737. Tawasilan further assured that names of those who report would not be disclosed. Women on the Peniers Network Nagaland WENN successfully conducted a financial literacy workshop for women-led businesses in Mukukchung. Deputy Commissioner Mukukchung Tsubise Pochi commended the efforts of WENN in establishing a network with local women entrepreneurs and emphasized the importance of collaboration and unity among them. He also said that Mugukchung offers ample opportunities for entrepreneurs' growth and urged the entrepreneurs to explore the potential for business expansion beyond the district into neighboring areas. The workshop provided insights into financial management, types of accounts, loans, graded scores, and other essential aspects of financial literacy for on the penis. All consumers of Dimapu, Jumuketima, Kohima, Twensang, Woka, Pek, Zonabudo, Mugukchung, and Mon Towns will experience the downtime for all IT services such as revenue collection activities, both at the cash counter and on department portal, online payments, and all billing-related activities.
Power Department informed that the outage or downtime is expected to last from 4 p.m. of July 20 to 8 a.m. of July 24 due to data migration from the existing billing system to the new cloud-based IT billing solution and services. It said services will be restored from July 24, 10 a.m. Therefore, the department has requested the consumers to bear with it. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.